Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is part two of First Impressions uh, Castle Art uh, watercolours. So I've got them here. As you can see, there's one missing because it's out ready sharpened to be used. Um, hope you watched part one. If not, go and watch part one where I, I just show you the packaging and swatch them. Um, that's why there's two parts because the swatching took a long time because of having to activate them with the water. So let's get on with it. We're going to colour in this picture from the Sarah Kay Colour in Heaven book. I like to use the Colour in Heaven book um, just to show everybody how various pencils work on this paper. It gives everybody an even playing field. So we're using the um, flesh. Now I will say that I sharpened this because I like a point when I'm working and it broke immediately. So I resharpened it and it's fine. Um, that's probably me, not the pencil. So I'm just going to do a bit of a face to start with and we'll see how it goes. So It does go down very nice. Obviously if you put a bit more pressure you get a bit more pigment. Obviously with this being a watercolour we're going to put some other colours over the top in a minute. So it's going down okay. Obviously the proof of the colouring is in the pigmentation and is in with watercolours. It's with the activating it. So make it fairly even. Like so. Yeah, well, that looks fairly nice. Okay, and then we're going to get the light flesh, I think this one is called, or flesh light. Um, I'm going to put a bit of pink on her cheeks there, and just there. And then we'll get the flesh dark just to give it a bit of shading around her hairline. I'm quite liking this. So it yeah but it feels very nice going going on. It does feel very nice. It's, it is Quite nice. The 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 feel of it is lovely. I'm just going to get a bit more of that uh, light, what they call light flesh. Put that there. And now the next job is for me to get the watercolor brush. Um, we usually use brush two. I'll bring them all over. I've got two here, but there is some very small bits, so I will probably use brush one as well. So I've got brush one here. Yeah. Let's check there's water coming out. Yeah, the water's flowing. And we're just going to very gently activate it with a slight circular motion. Like so. So yeah, I've done that bit. I'm gonna use number two which is a bigger brush. That's done. It's just, a, obviously it's slightly quicker if you use a bigger brush. So we go around here at use. Now this paper does crinkle. Um, but, saying that, it doesn't crinkle too badly. Don't forget once it's dry if you want to put some more colour on I will probably put a bit more of the lighter pink on but it, it seems to be okay it's not too bad I quite like the way it looks and I'm not going to do all of her, her skin at the moment I might do a bit more later on but yeah that looks okay I'm going to get the colour chart out because I'm going to have a look at the colour I wanted to use for the that's a nice colour 
yellow ochre I want next, which is on the very last page here. Uh, must be. What number is it? Seventy-two. this page oh, I'm not really with it cadmium deep yellow ochre so I'm actually using my electric sharpener to sharpen it because it seems to give it a better point there we go so this is for the hat really surrounding edge of the hat and that's that colour and we'll put it with I'm thinking yellow ochre light, so normally I'd put the light colour on first, but I thought oh, I might as well do this bit for now. But yeah, the, the pigment goes down very easily. There's not a problem in getting enough of the pigment down at all. It, it goes on perfectly well. Um, not a problem getting on enough of it. You know, like sometimes you, you, you think, oh, there's not enough pigment coming out. I'll wait till that dries out and put another lighter colour coat on it. Like that. Watch her hair. Because obviously we'll do her hair as well. So I must admit this is looking very nice, the colour. I know it goes a, a different colour when it's wet, so I'm not worried about that. But it is going down very nicely on the paper. Let's put a bit more up here. There we go, and then we'll put some on this part of the hat as well. There we go. And then we want yellow ochre light, which is on page. Let me just find that. Oh, I've left a gap on at one page in between for some reason. That was a bit silly. That's in the first set, so it's going to be this one. Let's give it a quick sharpen. And we'll probably do the basket with these colours as well. We're just gonna go over the top of that and just shade that in. With the skin tone, it's always different doing it with watercolours. It makes, it is always a bit harder to uh, I think get it how you want. I mean, whereas with normal pencils, or not watercolor pencils, I should say, not normal pencils, I would, you know, it's. I find it quite. I'm, it's getting easier. It's not brilliant. I am getting better. But uh, with the uh, watercolors, it is all all new, isn't it? So it's getting used to it. But she looks fine. So we're just colouring this bit. Um, um, we'll do the basket the same as that. And what I like about watercolouring is it's just so relaxing. Because you colour them, colour it in, and then you just get a brush and you you go over it and it, it comes alive and it looks so pretty and I like that washed out look that watercolour gives you so I can see that I do need a bit more of the dark up here so let's put a bit more here and a bit more here definitely there's not much there oh 
we'll put little bits in here and then but I do like watercolour and I think this style of picture is absolutely brilliant for it which again is number two and we're going to start down at this bit so we're working around because I'm left-handed I've got to make sure I do it in such a way that I'm not putting my hand on the wet part of the page so this one it will take a while to film because I'm gonna to have to wait for the page to drive before I can do it all so but that's okay Oh, it's a very, very nice colour. Like I said, you could make it darker if you want, but I think that looks beautiful for her, for her straw sun hat. You know, it's... Oh, it's nice. That is nice. So the colours go well together. I mean, obviously I've put two similarly named ones, light ochre and dark ochre or whatever colour it is because they're going to be a similar tone just one's darker than the other and it doesn't matter on this sort of art if you get a white patch because it would it would be like that and if I wanted to and I might do it I can always go and fill it in later so I'm just going to uh, just wet my brush slightly I've lost it. Here it is. Right. Oh, so much going on. Just put my water up there. I just like to have a water here just to make sure that the brush is clean in between colours, as you know. We did that when we were doing the swatching. That's why colouring with normal pencils is a lot easier because you don't have the worry about having to make sure your brush is clean and, you know, that it's before you start a different section. And yeah, no, it's just, oh, I'm going to just go and do this section now and use this colour. But yeah, these watercolours are very nice. I, I'm liking this colour combination. Like I said, it is a matter of just making sure you uh, do a swatch of your colours first, like I did, so you can see how well they're going to go in this bit now and once you've done that you'll you'll know which colours you can see which ones will go so there's her hat I like that I am liking the way that these are looking I like it that I mean I'm, this is my colouring not the pencils where it's uneven um, but I quite like the look of that on this particular picture okay so I'm gonna let that dry and I'll be back once it's dry this is an intermission so I know the difference between pencils. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so we're going to carry on by doing her jeans with blue and I'm going to use Indigo Light. And I am literally just going to just shade round like so. I have put an, a bit of a point on it. I do like a good sharp point and to be honest these sharpen up lovely and they don't break now I'm not worrying if we get a thicker patch because her her jeans are faded and old and uh, so there will be patches where it's darker than others I like this picture I like this book actually this book is really good for I think it just, the picture suit walk colours really well. I 
I really, really love this. Excuse me, making funny noises. It's been a long day. I'm just going to colour her jeans in. Really like this book. This is one of the few books I can actually see me colouring every single picture in and finishing. I seem to really love this book. I mean, there are some Christmas pictures in here I intend to do at Christmas. And I can't wait to do them at Christmas. But I'm going to wait and do them nearer the time. Because um, I could do one this month because it is, you know, you know, I could do one. But uh, I kind of like to leave the seasons really as they are, except for witches, I guess. I do like to do witches. This, these, these pigment goes down really, really nicely. I must admit. I, I can see me using these a fair bit in this book. And there are other books I want to try watercolouring in, so now we're going to look for a darker blue. That was indigo light. Are there any more dark blues? Primary. We'll just use a bit of primary. I'm just going to put a nice little point on it. Yeah, these sharpen lovely. And I'm only using a Stedler metal sharpener. So far, I've found that those are the best for what I, for sharpening um, certain pencils. Not all pencils, but uh, some pencils. So I'm not going to colour the whole picture in, I'm just going to do um, the jeans and her top. And then I will go away and finish the picture and come back and show you <coughs> the rest of it. So I'm just putting a little bit of darker blue on or brighter blue, just to try and squish it out a bit. Right, there we are. Put that back, get the... Oh dear, my eyes are stinging. Oh. Number two brush, make sure it's working. Yep, yeah, lovely, right. I'll start at this end because being left-handed, Now I do do a background on these pictures, I think you've seen them, and I just do a little bit of green and a little bit of um, light blue for the sky, just so that it's, it's just to show where the, the horizon is really, a bit of, a bit of a background, it's just, and it's very pale, very watery coloured. I do like these. Um, I must admit these are really nice pencils. The pigment, it goes down very nicely. It moves around very easily. It's, it's good to use. If you miss a bit, you can fill up the gap with it. It's, it is good. This is good stuff. I do like it, yeah. So, and and they, these aren't that expensive. You know, the 72 set. Look at that. And I like the fact that this does make her jeans look faded in some places. 
but not everywhere. So they're well-worn, well-loved pair of jeans or pair of trousers. You know, because it's all patched up. And yes, I will do it all in watercolours. Even the patches will be done in watercolours. I'll just use a thinner brush when I'm activating the pencil. Let's put a bit more down here a sec. That's it. There you go. And of course, unlike ink tents, you can move it around after it's dried. Dear, my stomach's making funny noises. There we go. Oh, I like that. That looks nice. I am liking that. Yep, so there's the her jeans. And that was very easy to do, as you, as you saw. That was very, very easy. I'm just cleaning my brush off now. And I'm going to go back to the um, top, which I'm going to do in red. And I'm going to use a scarlet red. Which again, I've already sharpened, put a point on it, because I do like a good point. Again, this goes on so nice. You could really use these as just normal colouring pencils if you wanted to. But they are watercolour pencils. They are meant to be activated. But look how nicely that's going on. Without any problems. That is beautiful. It goes on lovely. So I'm just going to get another shade of red. Which I've already got ready. I've just got to put this one back in. And it's the, I think it's cadmium red, is it? Yeah, cadmium red. Let's turn that so I can see the colours. I like to try and keep, keep the pencils so I can read the colour titles when they're in the box or in the bag. It, it doesn't always work, but I try. I'll just put a little bit of shade. Well, just a little bit of extra colour in there. Whoops, broke that bit. Just give it a little bit of just the way I work. <laughs> I just think these pictures are so adorable. Put that one back. There we go. Number two. And we'll just colour this one in. Oh, look at that colour. That is beautiful. I just think these colours are so, when you activate them, they are just so gorgeous. They just really are beautiful. I'm just going to do this straps. So that's what I think of them. Um, I'm going to go away now and I'm going to finish this picture off because there's a lot of uh, skin I haven't done and I'll practice a bit with that. Um, but then I'll come back and I'll show you uh, the end result once I've done the rest of the girl and the background that I do. Um, and we'll see what we think. So I'm going to crack on with that now. Okay, so I've now finished the picture from the Sarah K issue of colour in heaven with the castle arts watercolours so here it is so there is a light blue wash on the background um, for sky it's very very light you can just about see it on the camera um, a light green for the grass it's a bit too bright that that was leaf green uh, it's a bit too bright but it's, it's okay it looks fine um, Generally, yes, I really do like the way that these pencils perform and they, they do work very, very nicely when you activate them with the water. So we'll just zoom in so you can have a closer look. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I really enjoyed doing this picture with the watercolours. I just think that these Sarah K images really do lend themselves to 
that medium. Um, the paper itself does buckle but it's not really bad so it's not a really thin paper that won't take any water just be careful with how much water you put on if you're using these books. Can I recommend these pencils? Yes I can and I would. Um, I will leave a link to the set I bought down below. I can't remember offhand how much I think they were $34.99. Um, which is obviously, they were 72 in set. The W.H. Smith's watercolours, which I really, really do like them as well, they were only about £18 for £48. Oh no, 36 But again, they're worth it. It's just obviously you get twice as many colours with the, the castle arts for that little bit, for the, you know, for the extra. So they're on a par with the, the WH Smiths, there's just more colours in them. Yes, I can recommend them. They've got some lovely bright colours in there. They're definitely worth picking up. They're a nice budget uh, watercolour pencil if you don't want to be um, splashing out for the Albrecht doors or something like that. You know, the, the more expensive high brands. Um, I think Derwent do a watercolour as well. Um, I mean, I would like the Derwent. I mean, I've got the ink tents. I would like the watercolours as well. I'd like the Albrecht doors. I'd like the Arteza, well, both the watercolours and the normal pencils, and they are on my list to get possibly in the next few months. It depends. Um, and obviously, I'll review those as well. But yes, I can recommend these. They went down very, very smoothly, very, very nicely. Um, no scratchiness that I can remember from doing it at all. I, I enjoyed... It was a pleasure to colour with them, and that's the most important thing. And they're not extremely expensive so I will leave a link to um, both the US and UK Amazon uh, links for this set of pencils down below for you to buy from. I'm not an affiliate so I'm not going to get anything if you do purchase them via the link. The link is simply there for your convenience and that's all. I do hope you've enjoyed this part two of the Castle Art Watercolour video and if you have give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below to let me know what you think and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.